Greetings Star Wars toy fans, this is Jim, and welcome back to my channel. Well, I discovered over the weekend that I had not done a video on what you're about to see in the box today. Of course, you know if you read the title what's in the box. But this is the actual box that it was mailed in the display arena that came out, I believe, in 1981. And I'm going to start with this little thing here. This happens to be the back of a card that I cut out when I was a kid. I'm guessing it must have been an Ognaught. And I don't know why I didn't save the whole card, but I just cut out the sample here. And I did that with all of the special offers. Like there's the, uh, the survival pack and Forlom and the Emperor, which all of those I got via mail order. But let's take a look at this, what it says here. Uh, special offer, Star Wars Action Figure Display Arena, includes four 7.5 inch long L-shaped display stands that hold 14 Star Wars Action Figures each, plus backdrops. You can interconnect them this way. You can get this display arena by purchasing any Star Wars Action Figures, 10 of them. Remove the proof of purchase seals, mail them in, plus $2 to this address. And looks like 1981 is the copyright. It says allow 10 to 12 weeks for delivery. Offer expires May 31st, 1982. So at least we know when it ended. Let's take a look at what's inside. And again, this is the original box that it was mailed in. So before we get into the stands themselves, here are the instructions that came with this. And this sat inside my binder when I was a kid. That's why there's some three holes punch there. Again, you can see what was on the back side of the card. Looks like you have to separate the backdrops of the perforations. So I'm not sure if they had them folded over in that box or what. Then the back side shows you some pictures, how to interlock the tabs, how to put the feet on the pegs. Kind of a no-brainer. They really do care. That's pretty much it. So when you look at these bases here, you can see just styrene plastic. That meant that was mine. All my <laughs> figure pieces had red on them, and my action figures had red paint on the bottom, and there still is red paint on that. He values, I guess I made a smiley face there. He values it, of course, but you know, at the time, who knew? These would be worth a lot of money. And I used to use these to set ships on and obviously I put figures on them but this is more like a landing pad. Now inside the box we have the backdrops, the four of them, plus it also came with the later Empire Strikes Back catalog and this is the 1982 version I believe. It's got all of the games and that doesn't have the battle damage x-wing that must have come out return of the jedi um, it does have the white tie fighter there you can see the cloud car slave one star destroyer no puzzles now you'll notice that and it does show the yoda collector case of course the dv collector case as well and that did come with that here are the backdrops so we have dagobah the back side you have lars Owen Lars, and we have uh, William Falcon at Cloud City, at the end of Empire Strikes Back, Falcon at the Death Star, an asteroid chase, of course the Death and the Death Star, and then Hoth. So all those obviously are pre Return of the Jedi. Now let's see how the action figures stand on them. I don't know why I couldn't think of the trash compactor at the time. I had to pause a bit but for that file to pop up in my head. These are all original figures here. In fact, the Han Solo I got my senior year in high school. The carbonite block, I think, is in... Uh, no, I think it's must be in the Slave 1. And so there you can see those three. And just for good measure, we'll put Lando over here. That happens to be the Stan Solo movie authentic version. My other version's in another case. And it has these little recesses here 
that you can set figures in, but they have to be kind of uh, limited of stance. Like, for instance, Han Solo, his feet are stance a little bit wide for that if you're going to display it in that way. And especially in that little block, so you have to have a fair, fairly small stance. Now, Luke may fit. He would fit kind of right in there. But anyway, that's the display arena. Kind of a neat little thing. And one of those neat special offers kids could look forward to during the 80s. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'll see you on a future video.